I'm Eric Sopchi from Popping Mechanics, and we're here at CES. Uh, we're here at the Sands Expo uh, checking out some robots, and uh, one that we're really excited about this year is the iRobot Create, which is uh, based on their Roomba vacuum, which has been really popular, um, but it's sort of an open source version. So uh, they've heard, they heard about people doing a lot of hacking of Roombas, so they decided to make one that's uh, it's about $130, and it doesn't have a vacuum. The point is that it's designed to let you program it to do whatever you want to. Uh, uh, beginners can uh, download short scripts, um, and uh, advanced users can use actual uh, programming lang languages like C or C++. You can also use it with uh, Microsoft's new uh, robotic software. So uh, the point of it really is that you can not only have it run around and, and bump into things the way you want it to, but you can also attach anything you want to it, pretty much anything you want. You can attach arms that you, you've built. You can attach possibly pieces from other robotics kits because it has standard electronic connections and sort of standard uh, threaded mounting uh, ports. So uh, if you want to check it out, we've got one here that uh, iRobot, iRobot is going to demo for us. And uh, I believe it's designed to try to pick up things that it run, runs into. So we're going to check it out right now. So it looks like our little buddy is having some problem. He's, <laughs> he is trying to deal with that uh, piece of foam that's in his fine. way. Uh, as robots often do, he's sort of doing it gradually. Reset trial it. and error. Uh, and we're going to reset it here, see if it can figure it out. So now he's using his IR scanner to find it. He thinks he's got it. Oh, oh my god, he's almost got it. Look at that. He did it. He's removed an incredibly soft obstacle from his path. Now the point of this, uh, this particular version of the Create is to uh, let this thing run around and uh, actually uh, pick up whatever is cluttering your room instead of just bumping into it and uh, heading off in uh, another direction. We're actually pretty impressed.